Hello dear students, primary grade 4. How are you today? I hope you are okay. It's time for Unit 3 Fluency Time. Open page 26. Number 1. Listen, read and say. Listening 25. Listen, read, and say. Number one. I'd like this sandwich with fries, please. Can I have this salad without onions? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Number two. Some more juice, please. And can we have the bill, please? Sure. Okay, now number two, listen and circle the correct word. Okay, now listen again carefully and circle the correct word. Listening 26. Listen and circle the correct word. Number 1. Hi. Are you ready to order? I'd like a cup of coffee, please, with milk. Coffee with milk. Tom, what would you like? Number two. Can I have this sandwich without onions, please? Yes, that's fine. Number three. Do you want cucumber with the sandwich? Yes, please. So, that's the sandwich without onions, but with cucumber. Number four. Is everything okay with your meal? Yes, thanks. Oh, can we have some more bread, please? And some more water, please. Some more bread and some more water. Yes, sure. All right. Number two. Would you like anything else? No, thank you. Can we have the bill now, please? Yes, of course. The correct word is going to be with or without onions. Yes, of course, it is without onions very good number three with or without cucumber with cucumber very good number four they want some more juice or water yes that's right it's water
Now, open page 28, exercise 3. Order from the menu with a friend. In this exercise, you are going to imagine that you have a friend and you are making conversation about food. I'd like fish with peas but without fries, please. Fish with peas and without fries and for dessert lemon ice cream but without a biscuit please that's fine thank you can we have some more water and the pearl please yes of course now i would like you to practice this at home with your sister or brother or any friend Number three, read and write what Maya did yesterday afternoon. I'm watching TV at the moment. It's about a dinosaur museum. Some of the dinosaur skeletons are really big. My brother is playing football outside. Maya watched TV yesterday afternoon. It was about Yes, that's right. It's about a dinosaur museum. Now, page 20, 28. Yes, page 29. Number 5. Write using the present symbol and present continuous. Here, you are going to use present symbol and present continuous in these sentences according to time markers you have studied before number one I usually get up at 7 o'clock every morning but today I'm reading in bed number two I normally Dots to school by bus, but now I am dots to my friend's house. Which one is the right choice? Eat, go, go to bed, play, travel, walk. Very nice, travel, walk. I normally travel to school by bus, but now I am walking to my friend's house. Very good. Number three, I always space lunch at school. But right now, I space to a restaurant. Which one is the right words? Eat, go, go to bed, play. Fantastic. Eat, go. I always eat lunch at school but right now I am going to a restaurant number four I usually space at half past eat but today I space computer games my school holidays started Today, I usually go to bed at half past eight, but today I am playing computer games. My school holidays started today. All right. Open page 30, look at these pictures and tell me 
what you can see. Yes, you see a fish. Mm, right, you see desert. Of course, you see some rocks. That's correct. Yes, shells, maybe, fossils, that's right. Okay, now let's listen and read. Number two. Listening 27. Listen and read. What are fossils? What do you know about life on Earth thousands of years ago? Fossils give us some clues. Fossils are shapes in rocks that show the animals and plants that lived at this time. To be a fossil, the shape has to be at least 10,000 years old. Sometimes fossils show the shape of the animal or its bones. Other fossils show an animal's footprints, eggs or nest. Some fossils are 500 million years old. Why are fossils important? Fossils tell us about the past. We can learn about types of rocks and we can learn about animals that lived a very long time ago. Where can you find fossils? You can find fossils in most parts of the world. You can find them on mountains and in seas. You can find them in deserts and on beaches. You can also find them under the ground. Sometimes people find them when they are digging up roads or building houses. How can I see fossils? You can visit museums to look at fossils or you can buy them at special fossil shops. You can also look for your own fossils, especially on the beach or on rocks. Whales in the desert. Where is the best place to look for whale fossils? The sea or on beaches is the most obvious answer. But in 2011, scientists found the skeletons of 20 whales in the desert in Chile, one of the driest places on Earth. The fossils are between 2 and 7 million years old and are very big. Some are the size of a bus. Why were there whales in the desert? Scientists think that in the past, this part of the desert was a sea or a very big lake. Alright. Exercise number three. Read again and write true or false. But with, before we give our answers, let's check some new words. Digging up. Digging up means يحفر وينبش. Obvious. واضح. Whales. Hitan. Lake Buhaira Fossils Hafriyat Clues Adilla Footprints Ashar Akdam Alright Number one Fossils are at, le at least 1000 years old Very good. It's F. False. 
some fossils are 500 million years old at least 10,000 years old number two you can find fossils as a peach huh right or wrong F or true nice it's true as a peach sea as a desert you can't buy fossils no it's false you can buy them at special fossil shops number four there were wolves in the desert in Chile it's true or false Yes, I hear you say it right. True. Scientists found the skeletons of 20 whales in the desert in Chile. Now, open page 31. Number 2. Listen and read. Listening 28. Listen and read. Girls' amazing fossil discovery. Scientists who study rocks are called geologists. It is the dream of geologists around the world to find out something new about the past. Scientists were very surprised when this happened to a young girl in England. Daisy Morris, now ten, was walking on a beach with her family. Suddenly, she saw some black bones sticking out of the sand. She knew it was a fossil, and so she dug it out and showed her family. She was only five years old at the time, and she was very interested in fossils. Her family took the fossil to a geologist called Mr Simpson. Scientists then studied it for five years. Then, in 2013, they told the world that Daisy's fossil was of a flying dinosaur. In fact, it was a flying dinosaur that no one knew existed before, so this dinosaur didn't have a name. As Daisy discovered the dinosaur, the scientists called it Vected Draco Daisy Morrisi. This means Daisy Morris flying dinosaur. Scientists think it is 250 million years old. Daisy's dinosaur is now in the Natural History Museum in London. Mr Simpson said... I knew that I was looking at something very special, and I was right. He was very happy that Daisy found the dinosaur, because it was going to be washed into the sea and lost forever. All Daisy's family and friends are very proud of her. Daisy said, When I told my friends, they said it was cool. Daisy still loves fossils. She has so many that her family says that her bedroom is like a museum. Daisy wants to be a geologist when she grows up. All right. Who can tell me what is the girl's name? What is her what her, what name does she have? Yes. Daisy? Yes, that's right. 
Okay, number three, read again and answer the questions. How old was Daisy when she found the fossil? How old was she? Yes, she was only five years old at the time. Number two, how long did scientists study the fossil for? Very good. Scientists then studied it for five years. Number three, where is Daisy's dinosaur now? Yes, Daisy's dinosaur is now in the Natural History Museum in London. Number four, what does Daisy want to be when she grows up? Yes, she wants to be huh, a geologist when she grows up. Very good. Now, let's remember the most important of our today's lesson. How to order food at the restaurant. Okay, example number one. Can plus subject plus have plus any type of food you choose, please. And don't forget to add question tag. Can I have pizza, please? يبقى احنا عندنا اول مثال can plus الفعل plus have plus ال ال اي نوع من الفود ها آه. كوما بليز علامة استفهام طيب second sentence or I like food with without dots please I would like any type of food with or without please for example I would like some salad Please. All right. When the waiter try to respond to you, or whoever serves the food, he then should say, "Sure." Or, "Yes, that's fine. Thank you." Another important point of today's lesson is the difference between present simple and the present continuous. The present simple tense consists of verb in infinitive or plus s letter in case the subject is absent singular. For example, the word or the verb play ah, present simple and also plays okay this type of tense describe events that take place or happen regularly or as a habit ها هذا الزمن يصور الأفعال التي أو الأحداث التي تحدث كعادة وتكرار Time markers for the tense are like 
always, usually, sometimes, rarely, never. But for present continuous, the verb consists of, or the tense consists of, subject plus am, or, is, or, are, plus verb ing. Am is are, for example, playing. This tense also describes events that happen at the moment of speaking. في نفس لحظة الكلام. Time markers for this tense are like now, right now, today, at the moment. Today we talk some new vocabularies like fossils, clues, digging up, footprints, obvious whales, lake, geologist, discovery, dream, special, proud of. Now, before we finish, let's check our homework. Number two, order the words to make sentences and match. Sandwich like please fries this I would with. Okay. I'd like this sandwich with fries, please. Okay. After you make your sentence, just match it with the proper picture. Number three, talk with a friend, order food in a restaurant. Try to make a small conversation in the restaurant. Like, can I have this salad without onions, please? Yes, sure, that's fine. Number three, read the underlined words, write them in the correct place. For example, picture number one, the dinosaur moved. Ah, here we put moved under the verbs حطينا هنا ايه كلمة moved ها في الليستة بتاعت الأفعال verbs here okay now you should put dinosaur under nouns number two write Pasta. Number three, circle the old one out. For example, number one, rock, asteroid, earth, fall. Rock, Sahra, asteroid, Nigmi, Akwai, Kabi, earth, Arb, fall, Yaskut. What theory? Yeah, the old one is fall. Why? Because huh, she is a verb and all the three words are noun. That's all for today. See you next time.